bring in Brian Brimberg. He's a Fox News contributor and executive vice president and associate professor of business and economics at the King's College in Manhattan. So, Brian, you know, 448 a gallon just for regular. If you're using premium or diesel, diesel's now above 556 um, in most areas. You know, it cost me $40 just to get half a tank and a Honda Accord. That is insane and almost unheard of. I mean, so so what what's the deal here? When is this going to level out? Is it going to level out? Do you see any end in this in sight? Because it's pathetic now that people are saying, oh, well, gas is still kind of cheap. It's under $5 where I am in places like Connecticut. That, sh that should be no, a no-go. <laughs> That's not cheap. That's not cheap. Yeah, no, we're, we're nowhere near cheap here, and things are going to get worse. It's fairly obvious. We're coming into summer driving season. People want to get out. They're going to get in their cars. They're going to go places. Demand is going to be high, and the Biden administration has done nothing absolutely nothing to increase the supply, which means prices are going to go up. We're probably going to see 450 a gallon national average by the end of May, maybe sooner than that. We'll be over five bucks a gallon in July and August when the driving season starts, unless something radical changes, like China completely shuts down its economy again. But this is not going to get better anytime soon. And it's political self-sabotage for the Biden administration. I mean, I cannot believe people who have been in deep see this long and who understand how much gas prices matter to their electoral pro uh, prospects are completely cutting themselves out at the knees because everybody in America knows this administration has done nothing. It's been all fanfare, no results. They're willing to sacrifice their political lives for the Green New Deal, and it makes no sense. Meantime, Elon Musk says Twitter's accusing him of violating their non-disclosure agreement. Tesla CEO tweeting, Twitter legal just called to complain. I violated their NDA by revealing the bot check sample size is 100. This actually happened. He obviously using that bot sample size to price out the deal. And then he said, hey, I'm not going to do the deal. Maybe not. Then he said he's back in. Very confusing. Later, he said, whoever thought owning the libs would be cheap never tried to acquire social media company. Read between the lines here, Double B. What's next in this saga? <laughs> I think, I think Musk wants a lower price for Twitter. I, what he's doing is he's pressing on Twitter's soft underbelly. He's saying, I don't think the people who you think are on Twitter are actually on Twitter. This is bots, spam accounts, fake accounts. He wants to show that that number is higher than Twitter admits so that he can pay a lower price for this thing. He knows he's buying a fixer-upper. He doesn't want to buy something that's rotten to the core, and so he wants to get to the bottom of these user numbers. Okay, Brian Brimberg, thanks for your take on that. Hopefully you were wrong when you say that we're going to see <laughs> gas over five by the end of... I don't of, think uh, he is, sadly. That's, I, I, you're I, probably I don't think right. I am. I'm sorry. I, 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 know. I hate to be right on this one, but I think yeah. I am. Oh, okay, Brian, thanks so much. We appreciate it. <laughs> you bet. Good to see you. You too. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.